All right, guys, I'm here at the Ocean Corporation in Houston, Texas again. I brought my pipe again, but this time I'm gonna get some ultrasonics done to it. Let's get to it. Hey again. Good morning, how are you? Yeah, I'm here to see the street again. Good, excited to come back. Hey, I'm back again, but this time, Get the thing ultrasound. All right, let's ultrasound. try some ultrasonic. See how you compare it to your X-ray. Cool. All right, come on back. Hey guys. Hey Steve. How you doing? This is Abraham. Hey, Steve. Hi Abraham. Steve. Abraham. Nice <laughs> to meet you, Steve. You heard about you? Yeah, did you? He, uh, welded a pipe over here, and he'd like you to tell us a little bit about ultrasonics, what it is, what it does, how it works, and then test his part and let him know how good his weld is. Oh, All right. If you'd have bought donuts, it would have passed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. Right. When we look at something, I'm going to probably say stuff that you already know. We'll look at something here. First thing I do is give it a good visual. Right. Right? I'm going to look for stuff like toe cracks, undercut, insufficient fill, lack of penetration, stuff like that, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm looking at this, and I already gave it a pretty good looking over, and this could probably, uh, yeah, I don't see a whole lot wrong with this. <laughs> but... <laughs> The thing of it is, we, we got some x-rays of this guy here, and I'm looking at him here, and they look the x-rays look absolutely phenomenal here. But uh, x-rays show certain things that uh, ultrasonics won't find, and ultrasonics will find things that x-rays won't find. So usually we do both with something super important, you know, like main steam lines and power plants, things mm -hmm. like that. How does this UT stuff work? Works a lot like radar, sonar. What we're going to do is, I'm going to run a bunch of sound inside this little guy here called a transducer, and I'm going to use it to insert sound into this material. It's kind of like radar looking at airplanes. We're going to send sound out, we're going to hit it, it's going to bounce back, and we get an echo, and that's what I get on the screen here. Okay. So I calibrated up, I'm all calibrated up, ready to do some here and look at it. But so that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at this. And uh, I do some, do some stuff over there to kind of see what we're going to do. I'm going to introduce stuff right there on the top of the part. It's going to hit off the bottom, come up, and it's going to go in the weld. Okay. Okay, this is a six-inch pipe. And a lot right. of people don't know that six-inch pipe is actually six and five-eighths in diameter. You knew that, but not everybody else does, too. And you mm -hmm. said this was Schedule 80? Correct, sir. That's 432 thousandths thick. So that's kind of where we're calibrated up to look at. Like anything else, this sort of works the same way that uh, pregnant women, they scan their babies, unborn babies and so yeah. on. Same thing going on here. The difference uh -huh. is... We're checking if the pipe is pregnant. That's it. This, we're okay. looking at something. I'm guessing this is mild steel on here, something like that. It looks like it's been TIG welded, gas tungsten art weld. Right. And it looks like it's been done from somebody who's probably been doing this more than a couple of afternoons. <laughs> Six years to be in Six years at least. <laughs> okay. Years at least. So that's what I'm going to do here. This is coupling, and as a matter of fact, talk about hospital use. This is the same stuff they use in the hospitals. I'm not going to use anything on anything I do in the field that has chlorine in it, halogen, sulfur, anything like that, because sometimes I get a weird alloy, ink alloys, hast alloys, and I don't want to set up a corrosion cell. So this stuff's water. Water uh, soluble, it'll wipe off, we'll be clean. You and I will be greased up, but we're gonna be able to clean this off. Here's the uh, viewer, I was looking at the film on here and I went through the stuff and I didn't see anything on it. Okay. Right. So, you probably know the thickest part on an x-ray comes out the lightest color, so that's the root pass down the middle. Mm -hmm. Usually 90% of everything that we find that's no good is going to be in the root pass, hardest thing to do. And then anything else, lack of fusion, so on, is going to show up on the sides. I looked at this and I didn't see anything there. Now the smallest thing that we can see with your eyeball is about 20 thousandths, give or take a little bit. Obviously with me we're going to give a little bit. <laughs> UT, the smallest thing I can find is half a wavelength. Okay, so we're going to measure in the 100 thousandths on that. All righty, so let's start here. I got a starting point, I marked on it right here. And we'll grease this guy up a little bit and we'll start to look. Calculations, this is a uh, AWS calculation sheet that I've put together when I started to do this. It tells me we're gonna be using a 70 degree transducer and uh, 
Let's just see what the heck we see when we start out. We'll work our way all the way around this. So if you want to take a look at the screen here, we won't see a heck of a lot coming up here. Now, you see that little guy coming up at four inches right here? Correct. That's this side right here. It's about four inches if you can get, you know, from about here to here. So that's what we know what we're looking at. Okay. okay, so we got this back side. In the middle here, I don't see much going on. That's just going to be an echo. That doesn't mean much of anything there. So we're scanning around here. And this is a pretty clean weld. This doesn't have slag or anything in it, does it? I use Imagine. TIG. <laughs> With a TIG weld? No, it's no. not. Okay, let's add some more of this stuff on here. Anyway, it helps if you're doing this. I tell my students here, it really helps if you know a little bit about welding and know what kind of possible defects you're going to look at depending on the technique, whether right. it's, you know, submerged arc, it could be stick, it could be TIG, like, I mean, there's... How many different kinds are there? That's you know, a, a lots. A lot. There's automatic, there's, yeah. yeah. Well, each, each method potentially has its own little signature hickeys, let's say. So okay, if you, you know mean. what the technique is, you know what we're looking at, right? right? It makes your job a whole lot easier. This is TIG, so if I see something, I know right off, no, it's not slag, it's, you know, uh-uh. Yeah. So, okay, we're going to keep going here and don't really see anything. So here's one little spot where we saw something. And I marked it right here because I saw it early. Now we're going to come back to that. Okay. Okay. What that indicates is there's something there that's a little different from the rest of it. That would be, uh, right now I'm going to call that a discontinuity. It's not a defect. All it means is there's something different there. And we're going to come back to it when we scan the rest of this and try to figure out what is it. Right. It may be... Uh, you know, it could be anything. It could just be geometry as far as that goes. See, it's, it's a little bit there. Comes up there. And you'll notice it all comes up at the same spot, doesn't it? Comes up about 1.3, same thing right there. Okay. Uh -huh. That's always in the same spot. So it indicates to me, whatever it is, it's in the same location. All right, earlier, when I was looking at that visually, same thing there, I noticed there's a couple of spots on here that had a little more penetration or maybe a little more cap than a couple of the other spots. And that's going to do something to our echo too. So we got to be smart enough to know how to calculate that stuff there. And I get all the way around, get a good back wall on that, aren't we? This is like shooting pool. Right. I tell guys, I'm sending sound in at an angle and a bank shot comes out. If you can play pool, actually, if you're terrible at pool, you still might be pretty good at this as long as you <laughs> understand what it is we're doing, and this is where we started. So what did we have back here? Well, I started to look at this, and I, I started to get it's all in the same spot. So I did some calculations over here, and I found out, well, it's roughly, that area is roughly an inch long. Uh, looked like uh, it's 446 thousandths deep. Well, since this is only 432 thousandths worth, okay. yeah, that yeah. sounds like, we got more metal there than we do someplace else. Well, how do we get more metal? Right. Yeah. So let's look on the inside end. We look at it visually, and sure as heck, there's a little spot here where the root is a little bigger than the rest of it. And that's what we're looking at here. So like I say, doing this will tell you a whole lot of information, but you kind of got to know what you're looking for. Right. Not just, not just uh just because it goes up or just because it reads <laughs> higher. Mean, no, it doesn't, doesn't mean, mean anything. Yeah, that's right. it. You know, to, uh, there's a lot of different things you can do with this. This is something that's highly, highly based on operator skill. It takes about 2,000 hours of on-the-job training. Can you imagine doing 2,000 hours of this? Wow. At 40 hours a week, 50 weeks a year, two weeks off for vacation, right. that's 2,000 hours. And that's it. That's all you did. Yeah. But that's what's recommended experience-wise before they turn you loose so you can start seeing, yeah, I know what that is. Well, then. When I look at the x-rays and when I look at UT, I would sign off that this is good to go. Well, man, there you have it, guys. Y'all are in good hands. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how this stuff works. The drawbacks... Yeah, this stuff here makes you feel slick as snot. But that's, <laughs> it's just, it's the same stuff hospital same uses, stuff. water washable okay. and so on. But that, that's yeah. all there is to this. 
Where do we use this? Power plants. Power plants. Power plants. Uh, matter of fact, it's uh, one of the codes of things we follow is boilers, things like that, have to be inspected every five years. Right. And this is what we're talking about. Power plants or boilers, main steam, steam reheat lines. All we do ultrasonically, they're x-rayed when they're built new, and then we're going to follow up every so often. UT is a lot quicker than so x-rays. It's sure safer. So this is constant work. Oh, this is round-the-clock constant. You know, like the business, we're about 40% short of the people we can use. Now, one of the things I know more in a casual bit about is pipelines. Right. New pipelines. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, the ones you're building out West yeah. Texas, for uh -huh. example. I know. Yeah. My cousin has a uh, welding company out there, and I ask him, and so I go home there, and I ask the guys out there, the pipeline company, I said, what kind of guy, you guys need help? If they could spell NDT, we'll find something for them to do. <laughs> yeah, we need lots of help. So, yeah, this is a hell of a good job. If you're, you know, they work together. You need to know, you may not need to know how to be an ace welder, but it sure as hell is gonna come in handy right. on this, because the two work just like that. Yeah. Like I said, if you're, if you know what to look for because you know what kind of welding you're doing, this job is a whole bunch easier. Right. And there's other things we can do on this too sometime. We can inspect welds with something called magnetic particle. We can look at stuff with uh, liquid penetrant. Uh, I gave it a visual. Right. There's something called ACFM, which is kind of like a new thing too. Yeah, I haven't heard that one before. Yeah, alternating current field measurement. It's like it's kind of like this, kind of like mag. It'll tell you how long your cracks are, if there are any, how deep they are, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. wow. So this is, uh, yeah, this is as important as what you guys do. They work hand in hand, side by side. Oh, man. Oh, thank you. Thank hey, you, Steve. You guys thank come you, back Steve. anytime. Thank you, Steve. I'm glad to show off for you. I hope I helped you out a little bit. It did.